As you get ready next year to celebrate 150 years of Weir Group, I, I, I think, tell me just how transformational this is, how much of a significant break with the past this deal is for Weir Group. Good morning, Anna. Yes, thank you. No, it's a, it's a major moment for us. Um, over the last four years, we've been undertaking a transformation from you know, quite a diversified flow control business, w working in lots of niches, to become uh, a, a pure play business in the mining and minerals technology space. And uh, this deal is the is the final step in that journey to uh, to create that. Uh, future vision that we were working towards. Um, we sold our flow control division a couple of years ago. We acquired ESCO, added that to our minerals division. So now we've got that, that focus in that space and uh, I think a bright future ahead. Uh, the Weir Group has, uh, has sort of transformed itself many times over the years and this is just the, the latest in a long, long line of those transformations. But we're, we're very excited about the future that it creates for us. When did you start these discussions, John? Um, is this a COVID deal? No, we've been thinking about this for over 12 months now. And of course, we uh, announced that we were going to sell oil and gas back at the end of February, um, you know, just as the whole COVID situation uh, was developing. So as I say, it's, it's part of that, that journey that, uh, that we have been on. Um, the COVID situation obviously created some challenges in terms of uh, executing the deal, but uh, I think the team has done an amazing job to get, to get us over the line in, in challenging circumstances. And as I said, it's, um, you know, it, it, it is clearly a tough time, but for us it's about the value that this creates in the future by having that absolute focus going forward uh, in a sector where you know, we are incredibly strong. Uh, but for a number of reasons, we think the future is very um, bright, uh, driven by um, population demographics, growing population, urbanization, um, carbon transition, which will require more copper and, and battery metals that we're exposed to. Um, the vast majority of the world's copper is produced through our equipment, for example. And then a mining industry, which uh, has set out very challenging net zero targets and, and needs to transform and adopt new technologies to reduce its energy and water consumption. And we are, you know, okay. ideally placed to help them go through that transition. And so you've talked about some of the areas you're excited about, John. You, you've got some money to invest now, perhaps. Some analysts talking about where you're going to invest that now. Uh, any suggestions as to where your priorities for investment will be? Well, we do see ourselves as a, uh, as a consolidator, and that's what the M&A has always been part of the DNA of Weir, and, uh, and that won't change going forward. But, you know, we have been a, a, a disciplined acquirer, and we'll, we'll continue to do that. Um, when you look in the mining value chain, we, we now have a position where we're providing equipment into the mine itself on the extraction side through ESCO and its grind engaging tools. Uh, we have a crushing and grinding offering on the dry process side of a mine. And then our pumps and other uh, you know, valves and, and cyclones and so on, which operate in the, in the wet part of the mine. And also in, on the tailings management side. So that's where we operate. We think that's the best part of the mine. It's where you know, all the, the, the wear and tear takes place, which means that our equipment uh, is exposed to highly abrasive type operations. It means it generates a lot of spare parts. And across that part of the value chain, we think there's opportunity for us to continue to consolidate in the future and, and build on the already strong portfolio of, product, of products and solutions that we have in that space. So, um, you know, over time, we, uh, we will look to add to, uh, to our already strong offering.